Hey, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Say happy Thanksgiving, hon. Oh, he's just in the background. Anyway, look, we're watching. Let's see if I can show it. We're watching the Muppet Christmas Carol. Yay! What? That's not a yay. That's a yay. Yay! Okay. <laughs> I'm toasting a bagel and put some butter on it so I can have something to eat. And Bob put a turkey in the oven. So. What? How many pounds? Only 15. Only 15 pounds! We usually do like 22, 24 pounders. Yeah, when we have a lot of people, we do like 22 to 24 pound. But we're having a small Thanksgiving. A humble, humble day. Catch you later. Let's go see what Bob's doing in the kitchen. In the kitchen. I mean, there's nothing exciting to see. There's nothing exciting? We can't, there's no turkey to look at? No. He's doing, Cleaning he's putting and organizing. dishes in the dishwasher. But somewhere in there is a turkey. Look at that, that's the chef. Isn't he handsome? He's my handsome chef. Oh, it smells hot in here. It smells hot in here, in the kitchen. That's why it's good to be cooking stuff at the cold time of the year. The cold time of the year. And look, here's my animals. This one is lazy on the floor. And this one, look at that one. He's lazy on the couch. Simba, are you lazy on the couch? He says, leave me alone. Leave me alone, Mama. I'm being lazy. Okay, that was really weird. I just heard a bunch of dogs howling in unison, which I don't think I've ever heard before. I mean, I've heard dogs howl, but not together. Anyway, I'm outside on this lovely autumn afternoon, and my dog is... Walking around in the leaves. So Bob's got the turkey on. I think it's going to be done soon. And he's making something with sweet potatoes. I think he's trying to mash them up and maybe put nuts on top of them or something. And we're having Cope's dried corn, which is, you don't eat it dried. You kind of, you have to soak it for hours in milk. And then you cook it after that, and it's really good. I don't know how to describe it. It's like, I don't like creamed corn, but I like Cope's corn. It's kind of, there's no way to describe it. It's kind of, oh, I can't describe it. I've decided I can't describe it. And we're going to have cranberry sauce and, well, we're going to have pumpkin pie for dessert. And I know there's something else. Oh, there's going to be cornbread stuffing. Not the really good cornbread stuffing. We're, we took the easy way out. We did, we're using the stove top. Usually I make bread stuffing. And um, some people call it filling. But, you know, I didn't know if I'd be up to making that because it's very hand labor intensive so anyway i think i'll go in and finish helping with the table and I have to show that turkey when it came out of the oven that's the, <laughs> there's the carcass after my husband cut a bunch of the turkey off and look this is what the corn whoops we gotta stir it this is what the cream corn looks like while it's still cooking. It smells really good. It smells sweet and buttery. And it's got like whole milk in it. So I might need to turn this corn down. Or did you turn it? I just stirred it. Oh look, he's gonna use my fancy old fashioned dish. Look, there goes the there goes the corn casserole into the lovely casserole. Cream corn style. There's a couple different ways of doing it. So this is it. Cope. Cream. Cream. Dry, dry corn. corn. 
Since 1900. We need people now. We need people and gravy knives. And, and I want to eat. Oh, yeah, and the gravy. The I'm gravy's sorry, in there. I need my help earlier. Yeah. Get a picture of some of the food. So this is the, this is, what is this called? Sweet potato casserole. There's the corn. There's the turkey and that and that. Sunny, go. Everybody, it's Thursday night, and my husband's gonna cut the pie that I made. Well, one of them I I made two. Look, this is two in sign language. One, two, three, four, five, six. What is wrong with that? Oh no, that's not six. Do they care? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Ten. But we're only having one piece. Each. Each. Not now. We might have three more later. All right, let's cut some pie. Get your face in there. Let's show. Look at this handsome man. We need that handsome face. Look, he's cutting pie. What is happening? And my son, my youngest son is scraping a, a, a pumpkin. pumpkin behind me, but I'll, But we gotta get a nice oh, part yeah. where you where you take a nice Rain piece and you eat. put it onto a plate. Are you having pumpkin pie? Not the oh, there look, here's the lovely pieces. And here goes the cool whip. Wow. Oh, it's wow. better with cool whip. You want a dollop? Yeah, yeah I want a dollop. <laughs> but look, here's the pumpkin. That I got for my son. Remember that? He took the insides out. But see how it's so stringy? Because apparently it was frozen. It, it froze being, from being outside. Or they so, had it frozen because it's after the time. No, it was it was outside. Oh. So. I'll have a fork. Here's the pumpkin pie. Let's try a piece. Try not to look at me shaking. Sorry, my dog's barking. Look how luscious it looks. Mmm, it's good, but it needs a little bit of the whipped cream in it. So, hon, we didn't say what we're thankful for for Thanksgiving. What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for having one kid out the door. <laughs> I'll be more thankful in the future when all my kids are out the door. He means that in a nice way. I do. He wants to be able to visit them in, in their I'm own I'm a strong, homes. independent, strong, independent children. Well, I hope everybody's having a good day and a happy Thanksgiving to all the Americans out there. And... I'll talk to you soon. Bye.